Hey everyone, I'm back again with another tutorial and this tutorial is going to be really helpful for you guys and I'm really sorry for making you a white. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to use Laravel Eloquent um, uh, Mutator and using the Mutator, how we can set dynamically uh, the uh, slug for our blog post and then we have to make that blog post unique. We could, use, we could have used some plugin but we should not use some plugin uh, for some small tasks so we have to develop it all by ourselves so yeah and also you will be able to learn what is a Laravel Elegant Mutator okay so let's get started uh, for this we will not be using any um, UI so we will be testing on uh, our project so let's get started and make a new route for our project and here I have done one small uh, things already and which is the uh, fillable attribute I have filled out at this area so that I can actually insert some data here okay Okay, so let's get started and add some data here. Uh, add some uh, route. Let's make it slug and call this one. Admin control there is slug. And here, let's take the public function slug. Public function slug. And let's make title here. This is a nice title. Okay and let's return the title and see if it works okay simple enough right okay so it's working now we will try to insert some dummy data here dummy blog post so we will write blog dot create okay so we will simply insert some fake data here and we will simply return that as well from there okay so here let's write it title and title will be the one we saved um, in the variable above and we will not pass this slug anyway so instead of slug we will add all other data here some post and then we will just copy paste other required attribute that is not nullable um, so that we can actually pass something so here we can pass the, no, we will not pass user ID, uh, sorry, slug. It will be automatically generated. So that's the one I'm uh, going to show you how to do that actually. And post image is not, uh, featured image is not required simply because it is allowed as nullable. Okay, perfect. So here, if I simply insert, try to insert this one, I'll get an error simply because I have to set the slug because slug is not nullable allowed okay it is not allowed so I cannot insert now in the database okay so how can I create the slug automatically without having to pass the slug inside this create method okay so here comes the uh, Laravel eloquent um, mutator okay so how does a mutator work so okay let's say if you want to save some attribute such as title or post you can set it uh, attribute a uh, mutator with the name of the attribute so let's say we want to set an attribute uh, set a mutator with the name of title attribute so we will do like this public function set is the default word set by Laravel and then we have to name our title um, title attribute it has to match and then we can uh, or um, we can name it however we want so set title at tree and we need to name it at tree bit and we can pass we will get the title here okay so here now we can say that okay for attributes set slug to we can call a function string uh, slug we can pass the title here and we can slug it with this hyphen maybe okay so what it, it will be do, uh, doing is that whenever it will be calling the title and will be inserting the blog post it will take the title here in this method okay and then this title will be passed and it will save uh, it will slugify I mean it will add the slug for example if um, this is uh, this is your title it will be converted as this is okay so when this uh, when this is done it will set um, as, uh, for the slug as if it is were in here okay as if it, it, it were in here so instead of having it here the will do it for us automatically okay so we will get a, 
slug automatically created okay so let's try it out here now okay block is not defined so because we have to import the block here and here uh, we are using a function stream um, slug function uh, method but we have to import that class as well support stream so let's go ahead we are good now perfect so here you see we got the slug here and yes we got the slug here and you could do this in many ways as well okay so you can play with your meter tour as much as you can and try to do the way you like okay and you can call set slug attribute as well so let's go ahead and now if i try to do it again i we should get an error now because you see integrity is violated okay because we are trying to insert a, a duplicate entry okay so how can we make a perfect one that we uh, that would not be uh, actually the duplicate okay so we have to make this slug unique okay so how do we make it unique okay so let's make another function that will actually okay uh, we have uh, we have data here this is a title this is a nice title okay so we will check out whether we have existing title like these or not and if we have this we will actually append uh, one two or unique numbers okay at the end of the string right so let's go ahead and write a par uh, private function um, we can name it unique slug let's take the title here and how do we make it unique okay so in order to make unique first of all let's take the slug here and we will take whole code here and here we will simply just call this function okay? or method simply right so we will return the new slug from here so let's do the calculation here okay um, let's take a variable count equal and we will count in the block uh, in the uh, block table blog where where slug like and we can say if we have something like this in our table okay we would say if we have something like this on our table then count them all okay so now what we can say is that if uh, we have count existent okay so we will take a new count uh, number and if we say okay if count is greater, uh, greater than zero then we can say increment our count okay so we, we get the new count okay and that or else it does nothing okay now what we have to do is we have to return the new slug so the new slug will be like return and if the new count has something or actually is greater than zero we can say return as the slug variable and then the new count number okay Append, uh, append with the new count number or just if we don't have new data here just return the slug perfect so we will get a get a number incremented every time so the question mark should be placed here okay so this is a tertiary operator and ternary operator and we have to increment its plus uh, plus plus count i hope it should work now we get where are we uh, we, it is working now we've got two here now it should get three, four, five, six, seven, eight, blah, 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 blah. So we get a lot of title here. So let's say title changed. And. Okay, it was the last one maybe, was saved. Title changed. Okay, so we're getting this one. I don't know title changed one then it is two three four two three four five six seven eight nine so it's all about unique right now okay so I hope you guys understood now what is a uh, mutator and um, how you can do the slugify thing using your level eloquent um, 
immutator, okay? Thank you guys for watching this uh, tutorial. Please like, subscribe, and share this video as much as you can. And uh, yeah, sh uh, share your available feedback to me, okay? Thank you guys. Have a nice time. Bye.